when I got a woman, I really tried hard. You know, I, yeah. think, I think short guys make better lovers just because once we get on, we don't want to get off. <laughs> Get ready for a gossip showdown that's made it into the history books. It's the Steve vs. Cat Showdown, featuring two comedy heavyweights, Steve Harvey and Cat Williams. These guys have been in the spotlight for a while, and it's no secret that Cat is a force to be reckoned with. He's not just a successful comedian, but also a well-known actor with a bunch of achievements to his name. Now here's where things get spicy. It seems like Cat may have taken things too far in their feud. Steve Harvey, known for his charming smile that can melt hearts, finds himself right in the middle of a whirlwind of rumors and drama. The rumor mill is working overtime, suggesting that his lovely wife, Marjorie Harvey, might have strayed from their happy marriage. And guess who's being pointed at as the potential troublemakers? The bodyguard and the chef. But hold on to your seats. There's more to this story. The bodyguard, who goes by the name Big Boom, allegedly has a dark past as a former pimp, exploiting women for his own power and gain. So what exactly did Kat say that set off all this commotion? And why is this making such big waves? Well, you want to stick around and watch this video until the end, because what you're about to learn will leave you absolutely stunned. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've probably caught wind of the whirlwind of rumors swirling around Steve Harvey and Marjorie's seemingly picture-perfect marriage, haven't you? Well, buckle up, because the recent bombshells are nothing short of jaw-dropping. From what we've been hearing, it seems that Marjorie may have been romantically linked with several different men, including none other than Steve's loyal bodyguard and their personal chef. Now, that's a twist that left many in shock especially given Steve's reputation as a relationship expert. I mean, he's been dishing out advice on love and relationships for years. In fact, he recently told People Magazine that Marjorie had completely transformed his perspective on relationships and marriage. He even confessed to a history of infidelity and never having experienced a truly healthy adult relationship until Marjorie entered his life. Can you believe it? The man who's been counseling others on love just revealed his own rocky relationship history. Now, the real juicy part of this gossip is the whispers suggesting that Marjorie might be tangled up in a romantic affair with none other than Steve Harvey's bodyguard and personal chef. That's right, folks. We're talking about William Big Boom Freeman, Steve's former bodyguard. It's a revelation that has tongues wagging, as the guy who's supposed to be Steve's protector might have assumed a whole new role. And let's not gloss over Big Boom's colorful past when it comes to matters of the heart. It's anything but squeaky clean. These rumors gained momentum from a website called GH Page, and they didn't stop there. They even hinted that Harvey himself might have strayed back in 2021. But wait, there's more to this drama. A video emerged showing Marjorie playfully joking about trading Steve for a pool boy during an episode of Family Feud. The plot continues to thicken, and it's a soap opera of epic proportions. Some days I'd be willing to trade my man for a really good what? Pool boy. But that's not all, folks. Steve Harvey is dealing with more than just an alleged affair scandal involving his wife Marjorie. There's some backstage drama, too. It seems like someone on Steve's social media team might want to polish up their LinkedIn profile because they've landed in hot water. You see, this mysterious individual recently fired off a tweet from Steve Harvey's account that had everyone talking. The tweet, which has since been deleted, stirred up a storm by asking Harvey's followers to spill the beans on which comedian they find absolutely unfunny. This post set off a social media frenzy, with fans and followers not holding back and throwing some of Steve's fellow comedians under the bus. But Steve wasn't having any of it. In a video posted on the same platform, he called out the tasteless tweet, explaining that it was posted solely to bait users into engaging with his content. He even scolded the unknown employee for going against his brand and causing a major stir. All right, I gotta take some time to address this here. I came down here to get away, get in some nature, do some fishing. Somebody works for me on my Twitter, put a statement out that was totally negative. I gotta take responsibility for it because they work for me. 
And just when you thought the Steve Harvey drama couldn't get any juicier, Cat Williams couldn't resist throwing another punch into the ring. You see, this feud between Steve and Cat goes way back, all the way to their early days as fresh faces in the comedy scene. It's a rivalry that's been simmering for ages, and Cat saw the perfect moment to stir the pot especially with all the latest controversies and drama swirling around Steve Harvey. Now let's spill the tea on this epic showdown between Steve Harvey and Cat Williams. It all began in the glitzy year of 2009 when these two comedy giants clashed like there was no tomorrow. Cat Williams, the fearless jokester, threw down the gauntlet and dared to snatch Steve Harvey's king of comedy crown right from his impeccably styled head. It was like a comedy version of a heavyweight boxing match, and the audience couldn't get enough. At first, Steve Harvey, the sophisticated and smooth-talking host, seemed to brush off Cat's challenge, taking the high road and choosing to keep his cool. He even spilled the beans to Jamie Foxx on his radio show, making it sound like he had everything under control. But when the big night arrived, Cat Williams didn't just come to play, he came to slay. Dressed in a flashy boxer's robe, Cat took center stage and unleashed a barrage of verbal punches that left the audience in stitches and Steve Harvey's ego a little bruised. Cat went in on Steve's comedy skills, his reputation, and even dared to roast Steve's choice of attire, and that signature hairdo of his. As the spotlight shone down on this uproarious scene, Cat boldly declared, Please give it up for Steve Harvey. He's one of the best we've ever had, but he doesn't want any parts of this in any shape or form. And just like that, this feud became etched in comedy history, leaving us all gasping for more drama and hilarity. Cat Williams certainly didn't hold back when it came to throwing some serious shade in Steve Harvey's direction. He boldly accused Steve of raiding his closet and copying his fashion sense, and in the world of comedy, fashion is no laughing matter. But that was just the tip of the iceberg for Cat. He went on to mock Steve's comedy routine, making it crystal clear that he considered himself the real heavyweight of the evening. The drama didn't stop at the jokes, though. Cat spilled some serious tea to the crowd, alleging that Steve Harvey was only co-headlining because he couldn't sell enough tickets by himself. He even took a swipe at Steve's self-proclaimed title of King of Comedy, suggesting that it disrespected comedy legends like Richard Pryor, who paved the way before him. Now, as for Steve Harvey, he's been keeping a tight lip about Cat's New Year's Eve performance, sticking to this earlier statement about not wanting any part of a battle. Friendly rivalry in the comedy world is par for the course, but some are saying Cat may have taken things a tad too far. Let's take a stroll down memory lane to the comedy scene of the 2000s, a time when legends like Steve Harvey, Bernie Mac, D.L. Hewley, and Cedric the Entertainer reigned supreme with their iconic Kings of Comedy tour. Those were the days when raucous laughter filled packed theaters, and these four comedy titans ruled the stage. It was a comedic phenomenon like no other, setting the comedy world ablaze. But wait, before you break into applause and cheers, it turns out that not everyone in the audience was all smiles and laughter. Nope. Cat Williams, another rising star of comedy, wasn't exactly a fan of this comedic royalty. In fact, Cat Williams claimed he was crushed when he believed that Cedric the Entertainer Tainer had swiped one of his jokes for his Kings of Comedy stand-up routine. This revelation came to light during an interview on the Morning Hustle show on Tuesday, June 8th. It seemed that even amidst the camaraderie and laughter of the comedy world, there can be moments of tension and rivalry, reminding us that behind the scenes, things aren't always as rosy as they appear on stage. It, it crushed me just because um, the comedian was already bigger and more famous than me, and he took my closing joke and made it his closing joke on Kings of Comedy. Uh, the reason it hit, hit so bad was that I was in the theater. I paid my money to go see Kings of Comedy and um, to see my joke being there and not me. Now that explains why Cat has been nursing a significant grudge against Steve. Given the recent uproar surrounding allegations of Steve's wife cheating, Cat sees this as a moment of significance. In fact, during a recent interview, he shared his strong feelings about how he would handle a romantic relationship. Cat made it crystal clear that if he were in a committed relationship, he would go above and beyond to ensure that his partner would never think about being unfaithful. Here's a glimpse into his thoughts. When I got a woman, I really tried hard. You know, I, yeah. think, I think short guys make better lovers just because once we get on. We don't want to get off. <laughs>
What are your opinions on this matter? Please share your comments below. And while we anticipate further updates, be sure to check out the upcoming video where we'll uncover even more surprising Hollywood drama.